Hi guys! Uh, right now, I'm in the middle of editing my Israel reaction video at the moment. But I would like to let you know ahead of time that I, while I was filming my reaction, I have made the mistake of mispronouncing the name of the singer that Israel is going to send to Eurovision. Uh, instead of uh, saying her name as Eden Elene, I made the mistake of calling her Eden Elen. So I would like to apologize for that and I'm truly truly sorry about it. If you guys know the actual pronunciation of her name, please do let me know down in the comments below. Please enjoy the rest of the video because I have a lot to say about Set Me Free, which is going to be Israel's song for the contest. Shalom Israel! My name is James and welcome to another Eurovision reaction video with me. And today, I'm going to react to the Israeli entry for the Eurovision Song Contest that will take place this May at Rotterdam Danigulets. So let's get to it and start reacting. Returning for Israel this year is Eden Allen, who was supposed to represent the country last year but could because of the coronavirus pandemic. Following the cancellation of Eurovision last year in May, uh, the Israeli broadcaster Khan internally selected Eden to be their representative once more, and what followed was a month long search for her song for Rotterdam 2021. After several, several months of of song submissions, several rounds of uh, of deliberations, uh, online voting from fans, it all came down to three songs that were in contention to become Eden song for Rotterdam 2021, You La La, La La Love, and Set Me Free. And earlier today, as of this recording, a special presentation uh, took place which is actually the actual national final, uh, Hashir Shalanu the Eurovision, for which after a one final round of voting, Set Me Free stood out among the rest and became Eden's song for Eurovision. Set me free, I feel my feet in the hiding place. Uh, to be quite honest with you, I actually haven't listened to the two other songs that were in contention with Set Me Free, Yulala and Lala Love. But upon hearing Set Me Free for the first time, uh, just moments ago, I think Israel made the right choice in selecting this as Eden songs, Eden song for, for Eurovision. For one, uh, it's, it's consistent with her 2020 effort, Pekari B. It's a dance to dance song, but most of all, it has vestiges of 90s style R&B, rhythm and blues, combined with elements of traditional uh, Israeli ethnic music. But the main difference that I noticed between uh, Set Me Free and Fekri is that compared to Fekri which is more or less a love song or, or a testament for which uh, the singer shares about the, the strength of how much he or she loves their partner. Uh, Set Me Free feels more of like a feeling of, of wanting to be free, literally. <laughs> but more or less, uh, I think it has more, the lyric wise, it has a lot more depth. And I think uh, while it is very danceable, it's a bap, it's a banger, uh, I think the, the lyrics offers a rather um, uh, quite a, a Quite the contrary to the to the boppy with the boppy elements of the song, like a it balances it itself out. I, I I quite like it for what it is, and I don't think no other songs would have had that same impact to first-time listeners such as me. And because Hashur Shalanu Legiri Vision are only presented uh, music videos of the three songs 
uh, that were that were in the running to become Eden songs. We, we didn't see any live performances to each of the songs. Eventually, be able to see how it did, uh, does on the live performance of of Set Me Free soon enough. And having already seen uh, Eden perform previously last last year in the national song selection, I am I am fully confident that you know uh, that Eden will be able to bring bring the goods on screen. And, and to everyone by the time uh, the contest comes. Uh, I actually hope that her team uh, bring elements of the music video of Set Me Free to the Eurovision stage because I quite like the concept and I, I could easily see it being, uh, being replicated on the Rotterdam stage. So I'm quite excited for that to happen. So guys, uh, what do you think of the song? Do you like it? Do you prefer You La La or La La Love? Let me know down in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision content. And I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.